Hi, I'm Melanie Adams. My major is administrative leadership and I am also minoring in criminal justice. I graduate in May 2020 and I'm very excited that this um, will be one of my largest and last projects and very much looking forward to working with you on that. Uh, as a full-time student and employee at the university, I do not have a lot of downtime. So what I like to do is at least every weekend host a brunch or a dinner with my family, whichever works best with all of our schedules, to ensure that I stay connected with the most important people in my life and up to date what is happening with them and ourselves as well. Um, I also like to find some time to spend outdoors as I feel like it really is the only time my mind takes a break from thinking and that's good. It provides me some mental health and balance that is very much needed working full-time and being a full-time student. I am a career advisor at the University of Oklahoma and enjoy very much what I do there and uh, have been with the university for 13 years. The topic I have chosen for this SD SID project is how sexism and intersectionality identities play a major role in higher education's inequities. This is a topic very close to my heart, being a woman that works in higher education, as well as one that facilitates um, earn, le earn learning, biases, um, workshops, and am involved with other diversity and inclu inclusion initiatives on campus. This is one that um, I know firsthand and hear firsthand and work with our administration to try and offset firsthand. And I know that there's a lot of work to be done, um, especially doing this research, not only on our own campus, but across the nation and globally as well. So it is a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. Um, I've chosen not to do the creative production piece of this project mostly because May is going to be a very busy t time for me, not only doing this project as a student, but also as a professional. Our seniors will be flooding our office, ensuring that they have their first professional position lined up um, on their, upon their graduation, and then our sophomores and juniors will be in our office ensuring and trying to find their internships for the summer. So. It is not in my best interest to take on that additional part of this perspectives as I don't feel like I would have the time to give the attention that it would require to have an outcome that I or you would both be proud of. Although it does sound really fun and exciting. So um, being a May 2020 graduate myself, um, I just wanna make sure that I get the most out of this class and this experience. My strengths for doing well is my commitment to adhering to feedback and input from you. I think I've done a good job of that with my current instructor in this course, and I look forward to continuing to do so to elevate my work in um, the spring course. And um, it's something that I value. I think growth and development are something I seek and, and therefore I, I, I look forward to. The questions I will have will be, ensuring that all of the pieces of this project flow well and make sense to the audience and reflect my intention in the, the delivery. With the interdisciplinary aspects of working in um, those perspectives and how they support and relate to the topic are something that I want to make sure I do well at and that um, it's reflecting again the impact that I want to have um, in highlighting this information, not only in our profession, really, um, and for myself. So I look forward to being able to work that out with, with you in the future. Um, I'm very excited uh, to partner with you in this and uh, I'm looking forward to it very much and thank you in advance for the support you will provide.